Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're gonna fix this layout issue so we're gonna continue from uh, where we left in the last video so uh, let's go ahead and get started um, so what we're gonna do is uh, first of all um, uh, we're gonna get the width uh, of the view because we want to actually first compute uh, so let's say if you want to see if you want to show three columns right uh, in that case what you're gonna do is you're gonna compute the width of the view uh, so get the width of the view divide that by three so it's going to create three sections uh, for that view so it's going to give enough size for three things to fit in okay and uh, then uh, we're going to see like you know how that works out for us and based upon that calculation we're going to make some adjustments so let's go ahead and first compute our width so we're going to say self dot view dot frame dot size dot width divide by three okay and uh, then we're gonna get the layout so first we're gonna say collection dot collection view dot collection view layout as y collection view flow layout okay so we know it's a, it's a flow layout so that's why we are first force casting it uh, into the flow layout and then we're going to say simply layout dot item size is equal to cg size and this is where we're going to give it a width and height as width because we want to show it as a square okay so with that uh, if i run this now what we should see is basically uh, we should see three cells but we are only seeing two uh, sorry three columns but we are only seeing two cells uh, like you know or two columns uh, there is like this big gap right here and uh, reason that gap is there because we didn't account for uh, the spacing that's actually between these cells so where is that well if you go in your main storyboard if you select your cell and uh, if you go in the size inspector uh, sorry uh, select the collection view go in the size inspector you're gonna notice is there is a spacing of minimum spacing for cells is 10 and for lines is 10 so each cell has 10 points of spacing between them and each line has 10 space uh, between them so this calculation is what's getting messed up because what's happening is Although we are getting, we are uh, getting a uh, frame uh, divided by three, uh, but uh, because of that spacing, the uh, cell cannot fit in that space. So it's actually flowing into the next uh, row. Okay. So in order to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna account for that twenty point. So we can simply subtract that twenty point from the width. Because we know that's actually from the left and right, we can actually subtract that. So 10 and 10 uh, from for 2. So because we want to show 3, so that's why we are subtracting 2 if we wanted to show 4. We'll take a look at the example actually in a minute. So let's first handle uh, this case. Uh, so if I just subtract this 20 um, and then uh, rerun this, we should see 3 cells in a row like so. Okay. So let's see if we wanted to show four. Okay, uh, let's run run this uh, with four, and you're gonna notice that we have the same problem. So now in this case, let's say if I do thirty, then you're gonna get four cells, and they are evenly distributed. Okay, so basically uh, the, uh, the the calculation is uh, uh, whatever uh, you have the number. Uh, so let's say you can define it as a uh, number number of column uh, is equal to let's say four, and uh, here you can say number of or num of column minus one times ten. Okay and num of column 
like so. So in this case, if uh, if we change just number of column, um, it should actually consider. It should actually consider our, but we need to convert this into a CG float. That's why I'm saying uh, value is expected for CG rect. Um, and the reason is CG rect is more. Okay, that doesn't help at all. Okay, so let's say if we do like this. That error was error is so cryptic. Okay, um, I guess what we gotta do is um, this width is of type. Uh, let's see, what's the type of this? Okay, so CG size has um, type CG float. Yeah, so we gotta convert this to CG float. So let's see if that fixes the problem. CG float. And uh, okay, that is really weird. Um, oh, because of this division, because this needs to be a CG float as well. So let's check it out if that fixes the uh, issue. Yeah, so all types have to be uh, same. Um, that's why it's actually throwing that. Um, Okay, so that's good. Now we can actually change this to 3. And uh, you're going to notice that our little formula right here does the magic of displaying cells properly. Okay, so so yeah, so that's how you basically set uh, how many number of columns uh, you want to show within a, uh, within a row in the collection view. Okay. So uh, yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's about it for uh, for this video. In the next video, uh, we're gonna uh, start uh, looking into how we can uh, add a detail view. Uh, and uh, basically, when you click on a cell, um, uh, okay. So let's uh, f uh, first in next video we're gonna talk about cell selection. So just to show you how you can select a particular cell and display that data um, and. Uh, a video after that we're going to discuss how we can uh, navigate to a different uh, view on cell selection and pass that data into that uh, new detail view okay so i'll see you guys in next video thank you